In this lesson, we're gonna look at the nursing mnemonic caution up. And the reason we're gonna do that is because it's gonna help us to determine the early warning signs of cancer in patients. Now, cancer can sometimes be difficult to identify, but the earlier that it's detected, the better chance treatment will actually be effective. So let's look at the mnemonic caution up. C stands for a change in bowel or bladder. So if a patient reports a change in bowel habits or how often they're using the restroom, Take that into your patient history and consider that uh, maybe an early warning sign for cancer. A stands for a lesion that does not heal. So if there are lesions on the body or abrasions or something that's not healing the way it should, be suspicious there. U stands for unusual bleeding or discharge. Anytime this occurs, consider that maybe an early sign of cancer. T stands for a thickening, or it could be a lump in the breast or elsewhere. Be suspicious then. I stands for indigestion or difficulty swallowing. Anytime this shows up, just keep it in the back of your mind that may be an early warning sign and take that into account in your patient's history. O stands for obvious changes in a wart or mole. So any lesion or um, mole that's on the body that ha has some significant change, take that into consideration. N stands for a nagging cough or persistent hoarseness. So any patients that complain of that, take that into account and consider that a possible early warning sign. U stands for unexplained weight loss. A real common thing we'll ask patients is, have you had any weight loss of maybe five or 10 pounds over the last three months that were not intentional? What you need to do here is help them to understand that an unintentional weight loss should be suspicious for maybe an early warning sign that we should look into a little bit further. And P stands for pernicious anemia. Now pernicious anemia has to do with a deficiency of vitamin B12, but what we wanna do here is take a look at our patient's blood values, especially on a CBC, and if they're anemic, we need to consider that a potential early warning sign. Subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified when our next nursing mnemonics video comes out. Click the little box below for your free cheat sheet. And did you know we have a free nursing mnemonics course? Click the link in the description below and you can take that course for free. Happy, Happy nursing. nursing.